Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day or night. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. And you probably remember my friend Chef Gig. He is the Iron Chef of Thailand champion. He's just a wizard at cooking. I love his cooking. And he also is one of our team members of Pet Mark Kapow Restaurant. But anyway, Chef Gig, he has opened a new restaurant, a new branch of Le Tip. And he serves a variety of different dishes, including a massive 8,900 100 baht plate of senyai right now, which is Thai Chinese noodles with sauce and all sorts of amazing things. So Chef Gig has invited us for dinner and the restaurant is at Central World. It's within Central World Mall, which is one of the biggest malls in Bangkok. Maybe the biggest mall in Bangkok. It's a huge mall. And it's within this new section of the mall that I believe just opened. And it's on the seventh floor, seventh right? Shift said on the seventh floor. So we're running around just trying to find it. Oh, it's a little bit hard to find, a little bit confusing to find because there's so many sections of the mall. It's not in the main food court, but you come on the seventh floor kind of across from the supermarket food court here. There's a bunch of restaurants here, and I think it's in the back. Uh, okay. These are food carts. Gotta make sure I'm done. There we go. Chef Gig. Sawadee Kab. Alive. <laughs> One and a half kilo. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's a food court style. But Chef Gig also has bar counter seats. The whole kitchen is here. But then you can get your food and then you can sit anywhere around the food court. Very nice. Very new. Love the design. And Chef Gig is going to start cooking. This beef for one portion, uh, snowfish, crab meat, abalone, and rice, rice noodle and lobster. Oh, Chef Gig, the Iron Chef champion. Okay. Yes. Little king. <laughs> Cook the lobster first. So Chef Gig is going to be making a number of dishes, but the main event is the Senyai Ratna, the massive, massive pan of rice noodles, Thai Chinese style. Getting started with the lobster first. A little sugar. Okay. Nip it in the cup. Also, the, I mean, the main component of senyai ratna is the senyai, which are the wide rice noodles. And so it's very important that they're very smoky, very like smoked out on an extremely hot wok. So he uses an extremely hot wok. And his, he said the traditional technique is to add a little bit of sugar to the wok, to the oil, and then you just like scorch down those noodles. And believe me, that's much harder to do than it looks. Chef Gig makes it look easy, but if I were to do it, it'd just be a clump of, like, dough. Smoke. Yeah. The color is changed. Brown. 
like Bob the Shoot Cop, the color variety. Right. Like, yeah, like, give, it, give it crunchy and smoky yes, at the same yes. time, right? Around uh, the noodle. Like a, it's like a sponge of noodle smoke and perfectly caramelized, but each, you can still see the noodles. Wow, that was mastery, Chef Gig. Wow, <laughs> the raging jet fire flame. Why you back? minutes boiling lobster comes out into a pan of ice water uh, so that slows the cooking so it doesn't keep on cooking and then it, he's also going to keep on like baking it though for that that different cooking method to, for flavor uh, the bahima which is the snowfish that's a huge piece a half kilo in one steak slice that goes into hot oil that's going to deep fry until it's crispy golden that's also going to go on top of the noodles oh the juiciness <laughs> juicy <laughs> it's so juicy and parsley wow a little what a move. He then brushes it in butter with parsley and garlic. Oh! oh. Okay, he's about to fry the kale. <laughs> I'm gonna block my face. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Chef Gig is a pyromaniac. Not going to mark up. <laughs> Before the kale, he added in oyster sauce and a little yeah. bit of Chinese, oh man, and a little bit of Chinese liquor, Chinese wine. He is smoking that out. Okay, yeah. here it comes. You ready? I hope so. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think he singed. I think he singed the oh my singed my hairs. Long gold mark. Wow! ซอสทั้งหมดสิบตัวสิบอย่างแล้วก็หมักหกตัวซอสถั่วแล้วก็มีหลายอย่างแล้วก็เตรียมให้เรื่อยๆใช่ใช่ซอสตะกอไหนต
น้ำไก่ไม่มีน้ำไก่ไม่มีหรอน้ำไก่ไม่มีAnd now it's time for the sauce, which is also crucial. Um, two different types of like bean paste sauces. Oh wait, beef goes in. Beef. Wow. Different fermented bean sauces. That's gonna provide so much umami to the sauce. He drops in the beef, whisks that around. That's gonna thicken. That's gonna have so much flavor for everything. Chinese wine, sesame oil. Ah, uh, sesame oil. ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ครับต้องค่อยๆเพราะว่ามันจะเป็นก้อนเพราะความร้อนเจอกับแป้งซึ่งมันจะเป็นแป้งใช่แป้งใช่ไหมแป้งครับไม่เนี่ยไม่เก็บไม่เก็บSeen that being made. That was unbelievable. Just whisking that in. He just cooks everything with a massive flame, whisking that in. You can see it thicken, the meat mixing, and then finally he dropped an egg to stir that or whisk that around so it's like an egg drop. Um, I think that's almost all of the components. But this is all just for one dish. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. He's going to start assembling it now. But he's. He's gonna start assembling it though now. Ah, okay. Okay. Rice noodle, you can refill. Yeah. <laughs> you can or get more, man. They can do it, my God. Everybody. Okay, so he starts with the noodles, then all of the sauce, and that sauce is so thick, it's almost like, it's gravy style. It's like a porridge almost, it's so thick. Um, and Chef Gig said it's all you can eat noodles, so you can refill noodles if you want. If you can. Grab me it. Ten abalone. Wow. Yeah. Done. Wow. Yeah, it's done. Best senya in Thailand. Around 10 kilos. 10 kilos. Wow, that is a massive platter, and I can guarantee that's the best in Thailand. Okay, we gotta go eat immediately. Oh. 
Okay. We have the pleasure tonight to also. Let him. Let him do it. Get by, get by. Ultimate legend of the best. Get by, let him. Get by, let him. Get by, let him. Awesome. Uh, legends of Thai food. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. Yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> so heavy. He's dishing me a portion now. Take the noodles first, take some of the kale. Oh, and then at the at the end you sprinkled on some is that white pepper? Yes, white pepper. Okay, white pepper on the on the top there of the noodles. Oh, the fat. Oh look at that. The tamale. The tamale of the lobster on top. Wow. Oh. Your top chef. Yeah. And you. Oh. <laughs> 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 Chef dished me a little bit of everything and that filled the entire plate and that's only like one out of like 10 portions. One plate is 10 portions probably in the big pan. But yeah, I have to begin with the noodles that he just smoked out. That fire was, and that smoke that it generated was incredible, all so smoky. And then that sauce, just the noodles are now just drenched in that sauce. I like chef's ratio of noodles to toppings as well. <laughs> Yes, just from that bite, I can guarantee that's the best. Smokiness of the noodles, the umami of that sauce because of that, the fermented beans and the beef in there. The texture is perfect. You've got that caramelized, like slightly sweetness to the noodles that he caramelized them in. It's just unbelievable. The whole like gummy texture too, for one of those nuggets of crab. It's huge. I mean, it's, it's way bigger than the size of your thumb. So sweet, so stringy. And then again, just what I like about the sauce is that it's not overpowering. It's mellow, but you've got that like meaty, just ultimate gravy undertone with that fermentation, slight fermentation to give it so much depth of flavor, but not like overpowering at the same time. Is that a one biter abalone? It fills the entire spoon. The texture of that. It's like, at first it feels kind of chewy. Then it just completely like falls apart. Mmm. Mmm. So awesome. And then for the snowfish. And again, everything is just powered by the sauce, by that gravy. Completely crispy on the edges. Maybe because, I don't know if it's because it's so white or because the texture is so soft and silky. It almost does like, kind of melt like snow in your mouth. I think you just have to pick this up with your finger. Remember the massive flame that he fried the, the, the kale in? You can taste every flame, you can taste the, it's so smoky. And yet, it's not, like, it's not overcooked, it's crunchy still. It's just wilted because he fired it on such a hot fire so fast just to embed it with smoke, but not cook it that that well done. Well, the texture is perfect. And with every like crunch, it just like spews out smokiness. Wow. Dip. Mark, mm -hmm. <laughs> Chef gig, drumstick. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 Mark, up. Wow, that sauce, and the sauce is just perfect because it's not overpowering. That is so sweet and so stringy. Double dive. That claw was insane. 
Toaster, abalone, snowfish, and crab meat. Wow. In one bite. Wow. For you. Wow, sure. Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> that is a trifecta. We still have a lot to eat. We have a long way to go. This is a marathon of a plate of noodles. Oh, I completely forgot about the beef in there. Second helping. Look at that beef too. Look at that sauce. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. oh my God! you. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. He's already leaning back in the leaning back in the sauce. Did fire wah? This fighting. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The gooiness of that sauce, it's so perfect. <laughs> and how about a thumb sized chunk of crab? Mm. And there's sesame oil in there too, which you just taste like in the back of your throat. <laughs> You don't even really realize it until you think about it. Mm. Oh, knock up. Chef cake. Yeah. The best. Thank you. The best. Being. No way. Very being. No way, though. Oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna hold this plate. Chef Gig is gonna cook one more dish. Goodbye, Q. the way he adds pepper to that. Just an entire pepper crust, just coating. You can't even see the beef anymore. It's just completely coated in beef, in the oil, in the hot pan. Gonna sizzle that out, fry that off. That's 
black sesame. Well, black sesame seed? Yeah, yeah. Mm, black. Not. Yeah, on top. Wow. He slices up the beef, puts that on top. I almost forgot about the beef. Uh, so it's like a very glorification of Patsiu, like just an elevated next level. I can't wait to taste the flavor, the combination with that beef. Look yummy, huh? My God. Brother. Father and son. Father and son. <laughs> yeah. Father uh, I think that's the best beef crust I've ever seen in my life. That pepper crust is unbelievable. It smells so good. Oh, wow. That beef just melts in your mouth. And then with the that pepper crush. Oh, I'm mock hub chef. And then that just like plays with you. You don't know when the beef ends and the noodle starts. <laughs> They're both the same texture. Okay, I'm digging another piece of beef with some of those noodles. The bounciness texture of those noodles and you can just see the crustiness of all that exo sauce. The mix of shrimp and squid and black sesame and all sorts of like seasonings in there. Just makes it an overdose of flavor. Unbelievably good. Oh. Oh. Now I know why there's sofa seating on this side. For the rest of the night, I need to be in a horizontal position. Oh man, what a perfect place to stretch out. And it's the end of the, the night, so I think it's almost everything is closed. I want to spend the night here. I managed to get myself up off the sofa. Oh man, that was a, a huge meal. The best ratna I've ever had. Uh, the mix, and actually what's, what's amazing about it is that it's not a food challenge. It's shared to be shared with, I think four people, but maybe six people, less of a portion. Four people would be perfect. Uh, but what's amazing is that Chef Gig preserves the quality. All the ingredients are so high quality. None of the ingredients are overcooked. And the sauce, I think it's really good for the seafood because it's not overpowering, but it just complements the seafood. Then you have the noodles there to provide some starch. It's a one complete meal dish, not compromising on flavor or quality at all. Amazing quality. And actually, Chef Gig invited us. Uh, so it cost, for that dish, 8,900 baht, baht pan kao, which is, I did the conversion right now at this exchange rate, $293 for that plate, a $293 plate of noodles. It was amazing, Kapun Mar Kap Chef Gig, and then also great to see Jefai and her family and uh, Nong Ai as well. Thank you so much. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you again, Chef Gig, and please remember to subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Bangkok, and see you on the next video. One more quick thing I forgot to mention, you have to order one day in advance.